Greetings everybody, Okami Games Online. Welcome back to more Death in the Lifting Tale. The last time, we did some laundry, to put it nicely. In this episode, you might notice I'm one level higher. That is because I did a little bit of level training. So, I invested one extra point in defense. But, anyway. We also tried to go through here, but I screwed up and I used that Revival Stone because I don't want to use them this early in the game. And if you aren't that far, like, if you save decently recently, then just reload your save, because those are rival stones. Invaluable to you. Whoa. Yeah, this is where we used that revival stone last time, so let's do this a lot better. That's more like it. Speaking of, go up here. This is a good place to build up your 1,000 hit combo that you should have accepted by now. So we're going to try to do that. Just make sure to maintain use of your Dust Storm, because, you know, that's the thing that happens. And really, well, let's start building that chain back up. But just fidget ability makes this... You can build up such a crazy combo. Like so. It's nuts! Like, even with screwing up, I might still be able to get that 1000 hit combo. Just, again, keep an eye on your Death Storm, and as long as you do that, and just keep attacking enemies as well, you should be able to get the 1000 hit chain number up without much of an issue. Without much of an issue, it is entirely possible I will screw this up still. Alright, so far so good. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, really? Nope! Okay, we still got the combo going. Okay, just a bit more. And there we go. You do get an achievement for this, but I actually got off camera already. So... There we go. Bus break. Kick <laughs> a combo breaker. But one thing I haven't shown up is what happens when you use the Dust Storm too much. Whoa! What was that? Did you just hit yourself? Dust, you must take care. Even the greatest of swordsmen cannot maintain the Dust Storm for that long. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll try to be more careful. Keep an eye on your color. If you start turning red and the screen begins to shake, you're close to losing it. You do damage to yourself, but let's also use some items, because I am starting to run low on health. Eat, eat. Alright. We got a bit more health now. And these enemies don't seem to want to buzz off. But at least we have the 1,000 hit combo out of the way now, so... Oh. More healing stuff for me. Now we have the 1,000 hit combo out of the way. Let's keep moving. Oh, we got another way things. Oh, really? There, that's what I was trying to do. Fortunately, we've got more company. Nope. Bingo! Alright. And this, this is all... Oh, crap. We are in trouble. Unless I can get some healing items right now, but let's just keep moving for now. Uh, well, that kind of works. It doesn't heal me. Oop. Make some explosions. And get some materials. It's a win-win situation there. Nothing up there, so I guess let's go this way. One thing to note, there are never really bottomless pits in this game, so... You can fall down, there's probably stuff. So, as such, we have a merchant here, which I might want to buy some healing items. But well, let's see if we have any extra, any new materials. You know, we have a few. We have the Avi Claw. The Avi Wing. And the Giant Core. So now everything we have should be cataloged. And we have a Gust down here, which we can't do anything about. Let's just get rid of these guys. If those guys attack me again, I'm pretty much dead. Oh, Jesus. 
I'm also, if you can't tell, playing somewhat cautiously. Oh, jeez. So now I'm gonna be a bit nervous when we have enemies to deal with. Pretty much no matter what. Because, unless they can drop some healing items, and some decent ones at that, I'm gonna be stuck at pretty low HP for a little while. So, alright. Let's keep moving. Get close enough. There we go. Just wanted to activate him. Whoa, Jesus! That was close. Alright, still in it. Still in it to win it. Let's go ahead and death storm these guys again. Whoa! Ah, oh, boy. That burn's gonna go on a little while. At least it's not that bad for now. 33 HP left. We have to be very careful. Okay. Alright, good. Jesus. Can these guys go away? Also... Uh, activate you. If they still drop me at least some money, which I can use to buy stuff. And yeah, that was probably a pretty stupid idea on my part to not buy anything from the merchant. But... Oh well. There's a chest key down here. Or a treasure key. We well, saw two in the village, so maybe that'll be handy. And thank god there's a wall here. Because I have Mysterious Wall Chicken, which I can use to at least heal some of my health. And that also appears to be everything that was on this screen, so... Let's keep moving. And let's have these guys be complete jerks. Because they that's what they do. Alright. You're next. Alright. Is there anything else here? Oh, well. I guess the, the only way to go is up, so let's go up for that. Going by that logic. Okay, look like there's a platform right here. Platform. Platform. More of these guys. Of course. And I think that was Feeble Fruit that dropped down there, but oh well. I'm not gonna worry about it. Seem to be on this statue of sorts. Oh yeah, and I also just got an achievement, Bringer of Death. I'm not sure what exactly that's for. I'll probably just like edit it in it. Ed edit it in or something. Probably something going to the bomb guy. Actually no, I think it's like kill this amount of enemies. So which I would like to assume. But let's go ahead and equip that wall chicken. Okay, so, this appears to be the way we need to go, but there also appears to be something this way, so let's see if we can do anything over here. Survey says... No. We need another one of those residence gems. Looks like it's a blue one that we need. So, we'll be coming back to this. Also have a save point. And... Okay. You see them burn me. Eagle fruit. But we have to be getting close to the top here. There also appears to be some secrets hidden on this map, so let's try to keep an eye out for those. But otherwise, we just gotta continue our climb to the top. Alright, is there anything here? Another one of these, but again, we don't have the right resonance gem. But we also have this, which can't just climb once again. And more bombs. But I do believe this is where we need to be. So let's just keep activating these guys because they need to go away. Seriously. I hate having to fight these guys. Alright. Shake it off. Is there anything over here? More of these guys, because why the hell not? Well, it doesn't look like there's anything else over here. Okay. Oh, more bombs! Uh, of course. Should not. We also have a blueprint. And we'll actually get to use those soon, because we have... Whoa, uh, hello there. <laughs> Easy there, Chief. Every 
everyone, calm down, please. So, you were the ones making all that noise up there. Ah, uh, not intentionally. Uh, by the way, do you know you have bloms in the attic? <laughs> oh, those? They don't bother us. And they tend to keep the other monsters away. If I knew we were having company, I'd have cleared them out myself. Sorry about that, I guess. So, what brings you two this far outside Aurora? I'm assuming that's where you're from. I'm Dust, and this is my companion, Fidget. We're here to deliver these materials on Augustine's behalf. Oh, well, nice to meet ya. I'm Haley, and this is my brother, Maddie. <laughs> Don't mind him. I see you've got a blueprint there. Mind if I take a look? Well, this doesn't look too hard. Tell you what, if you can find me the materials for it, I'll craft this item for you. So, now we have a way of crafting items. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can craft this. We cannot, because we're missing some of the materials. But let's see what else we have. We've got... Oop, we've got slime mail, which... can't craft that either. Oh... Uh, you know, we can also see our materials list. Can we craft this pendant? Yes, we can. We also got an achievement for that tinkerer, which, speaking of, we also got an achievement for reaching the blacksmith. But anyways... Thanks, Haley. And, uh, just because I like you, I'll give you a blue resonance gem. Don't know if you caught it on your way up, but there's a big blue door at the foot of Archer's Pass that this'll open. Just inside the door is a teleporter that'll take you right up here. Makes return trips a lot easier. So you can come and visit, anytime you like. I'll be honest, even with a shortcut at the foot of the pass, I'm not sure I'll be able to make it up here too often. Hmm, well... My dad did have these little receiver things he'd give to his regular customers to transport goods back and forth. Unfortunately, I don't have any of them to give you. Let me think. If I remember correctly, one of my dad's customers dropped one somewhere in Abadie's forest. If you were to find it, I could craft your items and send them to you through the receiver whenever you wanted. Dad normally gives his customers a blue resonance gem. So check for Blue Resonance Gates in Abadie's Forest. Need anything else? I think that'll about do it Thanks, for now. Thanks, Dust. Don't be long coming back. So, we also have an achievement that we can do. We talked to her brother. Hi there, Maddie. Nice to meet you. Alright then. We also get a level up from that. How convenient. Let's go invest in some attack. Let's keep talking to Maddie, though. How you doing, Maddie? Cray, that's just fantastic. And you want to keep talking What's to the him? Word, Maddie. I'll make sure to spread the good news. And not really. Want to talk? Really? Thank you. I'm gonna keep talking to Maddie. How's the market treating you, Maddie? Good to hear, good to hear. Keep talking to him even more. Hey, Maddie, so about your sister. Alright, well, I'm glad we had this talk. You finally get the achievement Bad Therapist, which, again, won't show up, but. That went incredibly well. Do you know why? I don't know, Fidget. Why? Oh, don't be so dense. It's because she likes you. Fidget, what are you talking about? You didn't see the signals? She was giving you the signals. That's great, Fidget. Really, I'll keep that in mind. That goes to a bit of a problem I have with this game. Yeah, they bring this up. But see, don't go anywhere with it. But... Was this where the... No, it was probably down somewhere. Or, or was it up here? Good. There is something on this map, as we know. But I don't remember where it is. It might be in the blacksmith shop itself, and I was just being completely stupid. I guess we can go there and find out. Was it? Uh... Nope. Oh no, I see it over there. There's a key over there. So let's see if we can make our way to where that is. 
now we know that's there. Let's start climbing on up there. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, jump over here. Drop through the floor. There it is, treasure key. Now we got two of those, which is nice because there were two uh, treasure chests that we saw in Aurora Village. But now, we gotta start making a climb back down, which fortunately, now we have that blue resonance gem. It's that teleporter. It'll take us right back down the mountain. We also have a note. The girl. But, is there anything over here? Yes, there's something here, but we cannot do anything about it yet. So, why did I go back up the mountain? Well, we might also recall that there is also another area that we could go to if we had a blue resonance gem. So, I want to go there. But we also gotta make our climb back down the mountain, unfortunately. And are you real? Are you serious? Fine, we'll do this the old-fashioned way game. Have it your way. Let's just make the drop back down. If I can remember a secret off the top of my head, I will go to it. But if I don't remember a secret off the top of my head, I'm just gonna save it for when we're near the end of the game and have pretty everything. But, it looks like, even then, there's nothing we can do here, because it looks like we also need what appears to be a red resonance gem. So we gotta make our way back down the mountain, so I think the best option would be just to go back up and use that teleporter. But at least we got this part out of the way. I don't think you technically need to come here, but it's definitely handy, because, well, we can craft things now, for starters. And I also would like for you guys to get out of my sight. So that way I can... Ah, there's that teleporter. Let's get back down to the village. Here we are. Uh, let's head on out. So now we're done exploring Archer's Pass. So let's head back to Aurora Village. See if we can find out those what's in those treasure chests that we saw. And if we have any new materials that we can categorize. So, let's move on forward. Jump, jump. Oh yeah, we can also turn in this quest. Alright, Corbin. I've managed a 1,000 hit combo. I knew you could do it, Dust! Someday, I'm gonna be just as powerful as you! And then I'll be able to get a 1,000 hit combo. Well, let's hope you never have to. Yeah, believe me, hitting 1,000 takes a while. I should know. Oh, should you? Huh, I've gotten 1,000 hit combos. I get them all the time. Forever. Yeah, of course you do. Come on, time to go. Well, at least we have that out of the way. Quest completed. So, let's use one of those two keys that we had. And let's see what we got. Ooh, we actually got a new item in there. We got... A teleport stone. So what does this do? Also, do we... Did we get the white resonance gem from that? I don't remember us having that before, but anyways... We have the teleport stone. It's a single-use item, but if you go to any save monument, and you can use the teleport stone, and you can teleport out. And go back to the world Welcome map. Back. Handy for if you want to go back, but I personally don't use it too much. Now let's see if there's any new things we need to sell. Survey says no. Oh, no. Thank oh, we also got some hot dogs, which I think is actually a better healing item. And we got a cinnamon bun. Yeah, hot dog. 180 health. Do we get any armor from that or anything like that? Oh, well, we have some pendants now. We do have the simple pendant, but unfortunately it's going to lower my luck, which... Uh, I think it'll be worth it, personally. We get increased defense, so I'll take it. For now, though, let's see what that what's in that other treasure chest. Because it should be on this screen. Yep, right here. Alright, we 
got a smooth ring, and it looks like we got some more money and some more healing items. This is why you want to open up treasure chests whenever you get a chance. They have pretty good healing items and some good equipment. Speaking such as the smooth ring. So, now our stats have gone up even more. Definitely, definitely useful. But, looks like that's pretty much all we got. We can do it this time, so let's head on back to the world map. Which I could demonstrate that teleport stone, but I'd rather hold on to it for when I actually need to use it, pretty much. So, let's just walk on over. Alright, so we explored pretty much the rest of Archer's Pass, and we'll be coming back here, don't worry. We also still have some things left in the glade. We've gotten everything in the sanctuary. We got a few treasure chests in Aurora Village. And we still have some treasure chests to get here at Ivydale Glen. Also, now I remember where we got that white resonance gem. Aren't I a smart person? We got it from here. Not from that chest. I'm stupid. Anyways, next time on Dust and Elysian Tale, we're heading off to Abadis Forest. See you guys then.